Okay, welcome guys. Today we will be talking about something which is an interest for all. That is something which everyone aspires and everyone has queries, a lot of queries about, which I will be trying to answer or which I'll try through my experience of applying universities abroad. So myself, so before that, so we will have some tips and tricks on the PhD abroad and myself Kriti Alam. I did my master's in chemistry from IIT Jodhpur and now I'm an incoming PhD student at the University of North Texas. So before even uh, starting to what we are here today, I just like to introduce to you guys myself. So my name is Kriti Alam as I already mentioned and I stay in Kolkata and the previous institutions include Neolipo College, University of Calcutta where I did my BSc honors in chemistry and I did my master's from Indian Institute of Technology Jodhpur and my interest lies in theoretical and computational chemistry and biophysics. So basically I do statistical mechanics. So if I would uh, like to start with the topic of today's discussion. So the must requirements uh, before you apply, even when you start applying, you should have things in hand. Even when you want to start applying, the first thing is a decent GPA or the, what you call in formal language in Indian universities and institutes as a CGPA. GPA is the converted version of four point scale in more in many universities, while CGPA is the 10 point scale as we all know. So seven or above is something which is expected to be there. Uh, a good project work. So whatever you are doing as your master's curriculum in case of IITs or ISAs. And if you are not doing a same from your university, you can yourself get enrolled to an institute for your project, which is an important thing. A uh, TOEFL score or IELTS, which is important. A TOEFL score, if you're talking about a TOEFL score, which I appeared for a TOEFL, you should have something above 80 and even above 80, I would say at a scale of 80 to 88 would be a safer site. A proper summarized research experience. So what you're going to do is whatever starting from your bachelor's, if you have done any kind of research, it may spit into a publication or may not. So what you can do is you can uh, summarize them and have a document ready with you and a very detailed curriculum vitae or CV, which is important with all the courses which you have appeared for, what are your interests, what specifically inspires you to get into that particular field and also a statement of purpose, which is a very important point. That is, you need to explain why you need to go for a PhD in that particular university or under that particular professor is a very important point. And also a letter of recommendation from three professors is a need for an application to start means when you will be applying in, in universities, you will see it in their websites that they will automatically give you options to actually go for your recommendations by putting email IDs and names of the particular professor whom you want a letter of recommendation. So the next thing is a very intriguing question that how should one apply or how should one approach? So the very first thing you need to do is make a list or search for the professors in your area of interest. Like for example, if you're interested in organic chemistry, I'm talking about or I'm talking in perspectives of, an, uh, of a chemistry student that if you're interested in a particular field of chemistry, maybe in organic chemistry or organic chemistry, just list down the names of the professors who are working in your area. And I'll give a special tip for this in the next slide. Before that, you need to listen to the other points as well that uh, you need to list these things and this list will consist of what are they working, which university and their email ID. And also you need to see and how many students are there in that particular lab and whether it suits whatever you want to do, not something that you have a good professor, he has a good research gate profile, etc, etc, not that. It should be that you are satisfied that whether you will be satisfied by taking that particular professor or by looking at that particular professor's research or not. Next is you need to mail them to ask for vacancies or they're interested in your current work. So with all those documents which you have made, 
the CV, the SOP, the research statement, as well as your uh, mark sheets, merge them into one single PDF. And do not send them different PDFs. Okay. okay. So what you need to do is that you should have one document with everything attached. And keep in mind when you apply to different professors, make sure to change the email head as well as the statement of purpose which is pertaining to that particular professor you are applying at that particular time. Please take care and please take care of these. These are very small details which will be important later, which will depend on you, which will make your selection dependent upon. You need to mail them, but you have to show them your interest. Not that I mailed a particular professor, I copy paste the same email. You can copy paste keeping certain words intact, but you should change accordingly to the person you are applying to. You are not even changing the name of the university and you are applying it, applying to the other professor. This will be in your negatives. Clear? So the third point is, if there is a possibility that you want to shift your field, right? you may feel that the current work which you want to show, but that is not what you are interested in. You want to shift to some other work. Maybe you should have a little bit of experience in that. And when you want to shift, you should be able to defend this particular question. The supervisor will ask you whom you are applying to towards an interview that why do you want to change your field? So you should have a proper answer ready for it. And always be positive in your email. Be positive. Do not add too many negative words. Probably this and that. You, do not, you should not apply all those words and do not elaborate much. Right? This is something which is very important. Don't make it bad for the professor to read it. Be sticking to your points. Stick to your points which are important. Not too much of elaborative, elaborative words will work there. And also take care on the deadlines. Now you need to be very active when you are talking about deadlines or when you are talking about applying to universities. Be utmost careful when you will actually apply to these universities because if the deadlines are crossed generally you have to wait for the if not the fall then for the spring you need to wait for this so be careful about the deadlines always have a check in the website or the portal whatever you are shared with. so next i would be talking about the special trick which i mentioned earlier that what you need to have is a twitter account it's a very important one nowadays because in case if you have a Twitter account, you will be very much informed about uh, positions which are available to professors. Like for example, if a new professor or a professor who wants a student will put the same on Twitter. So what you're going to do is you have, should have a proper Twitter account and you should follow these scientists who match your interest in area or subject. Now you won't be biased when you follow people that they will have to be from your field. It may be they are not from your field. They may be postdoc students as well. They may be PhD students as well, but keep following them. So there is a certain thing called retweet that if a particular student of that particular lab where the vacancy is there has, has been aware about the position or is aware about the post of his or her supervisor. So he is going to retweet the same and you may be able to see it and maybe able to apply earlier and also follow science journals means the Twitter pages of uh, science journals such as the American Chemical Society, Journal of Chemical Physics, etc, etc. You should follow them to get an idea about what research is going on currently in your subject, your field, etc. And you should have a clear idea about the professor before even mailing. You should know what he or she is working on. And that I think I have mentioned in the previous slide. And you should have a decent account. And whenever you are posting things, you are very much you must you have very much the liberty to post anything on Twitter. But be careful that that doesn't make your account look something abstract that is not which is related to science or something. So a professor may follow you back, seeing your interests. Not every time you have to post something scientific, but post something productive or positive. Avoid negatives when you post this. And this is a very important trick nowadays because 90% of the available positions and everything are found in Twitter. So at the end, I would like to talk about a little bit on what should you have summarized as a to-do list. 
a list of universities which you are interested in in terms of the research not in terms of the qs ranking i'll talk about it very shortly and do not worry about rejections you may have many rejections but that one acceptance may change your life now you should not have a full list of only universities which have qs rankings below 100 which is a very common mistake done you should have a mix of all above 100 below 100 in between you should have everything but be careful of choosing them as to what you want to do in the future is available there with proper infrastructure if you do choose something which does not have what you want or what you should do in the near future will put you in trouble and that to in a foreign land and qs ranking doesn't decide your research please uh, keep this in mind if you, someone comes and tells you that you should choose universities with proper below 100 qs ranking this and that do not go for that if you are interested in the guide and in the research which is being done there no one is going to stop you to get successful if you be if you are yourself diligent in it and that's all from my side happy applying good luck